Okay, we're recording. Are we? Yeah, so it tracks your face on there, see? Okay. So it'll make sure that we're on there. So All right. let's have some tea, because that's what we do. In our fancy mugs. In our, your brand new fancy Christmas mugs. So, you asked for it. Here we are again. Hello, hello. So, we should do introductions first. We should. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sandy from By the Lakeside, and you can find me on YouTube on By the Lakeside channel, and on Instagram as Sandy By the Lakeside. And I'm Eric. I am on YouTube as Sticks Plus Twine, and I'm on Instagram as it's me underscore Eric L, and on Ravelry as E P L U T Z. I forgot Ravelry. Oh shoot! Okay. I'm Sandy Ran on Ravelry. Okay. So we are here in Sandy's wonderful home. Um, we have been planning this for a while. We know a lot of you have asked for us to do this again. It's been two years plus, since our last two years more. plus since our last one mm -hmm. um and if we hadn't spent all day catching up it's not like i didn't see you two weeks ago but you know eight hours later here we are yeah we're recording we got together at 10 o'clock today 10 a.m <laughs> yep and we are finally sitting down at 6 p.m because we just yeah. started talking and talking. And, and on it went, and here we, we are. We went out for a bit. Yeah, so there will be some of that as well. Yes. So we should say that um, part one of this uh, recording is going to be on the By the Lakeside channel, and part two will be on Sticks Plus Twine. They're not going to be identical by any means, so you will want to check out both. So there should be what links in the description box below. Mm -hmm. And um, we're not gonna go any through anything crazy today, nothing super revelatory. We just wanna like spend some time with you guys and share what we're making and what we're planning to make as we head into the festive season. But why don't we start with what we're wearing, mm -hmm. Sandy? Let's do that. Our bougie selves. We're so excited about this. Yeah. This is our Klassen Triangle with a Twist mm -hmm. from Clinton Hill Cashmere. And we both took part in the knit along. That was end of September, I think. Like it was around our, yeah. our October 1st, maybe. It was right around our birthdays. Yeah. So we purchased these kits for ourselves as a birthday treat. Yep. We did the knit along. We finished mm -hmm. it quite quickly you surprisingly finished it before yeah me. it just flew away yeah it was done in no time and we're kind of in love with it yeah they it's really, really are really soft it's cashmere because <laughs> what does cashmere do <laughs> cashmere makes everything okay <laughs> yes so yeah we're loving these yeah the um only difference is Sandy has actually blocked hers, and I ironed mine yesterday. <laughs> okay, no word of a lie. I went to steam block it, and it wasn't working, so I used the wool setting, and I just flattened it out because it did tend to curl. It's curling now because I haven't it's really... curling more now, but it was yeah. a little flatter this morning. It was. So um, when I actually do go to properly block it, I'll put wires on. Yeah. I actually didn't use the wires. I used those pins mm -hmm. that we talked about, and... Yeah. It blocked out really nicely. Those were like the Knitter's Pride blocking yes. things. I did order them and I used them on this when I was steam blocking, but I think for this one I might just do wires. I like wires sometimes. I've never used them. I have them, but I've never used them. I took them out. They're, they're good. And I thought about it, but then... Yours looked really good right off the mats though, but you wet blocked yours? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it needed a wet block to mm -hmm. really do it right. So, So that's what we're wearing. And we decided to dress up a little bit for you guys today because, you know, it's Why a special not? occasion. Yep. Yeah. We don't do this that often and we want to look nice. Yes. Yeah. And it's kind of our pre-holiday meetup. It's not quite. That's right. We're not quite there, but no. we're definitely thinking about holiday knitting. Yep. And Vlogmas. Yep. So um, I know I'm going to do Vlogmas this year for the first time, truly. 
Um, but I'm going to do an advent um, version. So once a week, there will be an update um, around Vlogmas. I frankly just don't have that much interesting stuff going on. I don't have a family that's doing family things. like So rather than bore you with you know the same thing I do every day, which is come home from work and watch TV and knit, um, I thought I would amalgamate some of it. I think if you were working at home, it might be different, but you're busy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the gym six days a week now. So, yeah. yeah. And I will also be participating in Vlogmas again this year. I'm really looking forward to it. I started a basket of advent calendars and thinking about all the knitting that I'm going to try to do. I've even pulled out an old knitting project from Christmas. So I'm going to try and work on that to get mm. myself ready for Vlogmas. Cool. Yeah. So why don't we talk about, um, I'm going to change the script a little bit. Why don't we okay. talk about the one thing that we got today? Why don't we do that first? Okay. Because that's kind of... Well, actually, let me oh. show what I pulled out. Yes, do that first. Because this kind of segues into Yes, that. let's do that. So I was looking at some of my sock projects and thinking about Christmas knitting. And I pulled out, I can't remember already, even though Christina told me what year this was. This might 18. be 2018, That's right? 18. The first one. Yeah. I pulled out the one Advent skein from the Cozy Knitter that I haven't finished in hopes to try to make a bit of progress and finish these for December. Mm -hmm. And I love them, which is kind of timely because Christina happened to be in the area today yep. and knew that we'd be together. And so she dropped off our no 24 stripe advent skein for 2021 i still can't believe we're saying 2021 now I know. like that went fast so yeah. i'm excited we have not seen these no and i won't peek i'm gonna be good I. I i want to start on the 21st uh or start on the 21st 24 stripes on the first yes for 24 days i'm going to find my needles and start, I'm gonna cast them on and do a contrast color for the rib. Right, for the, the cuff. cuff. The cuff, yeah. And have it all ready, and then I might wind it up the mm -hmm. night before. I'm not sure, the night before the first. It, for me, I don't know what day the first falls. It's in the middle of the week. Is it? Wednesday or Thursday, Because if it's, one of those. Let's see, I need to know now. Inquiring yeah. minds want to know, it's a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah I, I think I should be okay. My Wednesdays are not that busy. I'll have time during the day. I'm going to wind it up during the day. Um, but I was just thinking on the subject of socks that Andrea Mowry is doing her um, Thanksgiving sockathon thing over the long weekend mm -hmm. uh, for the th American Thanksgiving, where you try and do an entire pair of socks in like three and a half days. Oh. So I think I might actually try it this year. I might try it. Um, I'll see how busy my schedule is, but like, I know some knitters that can do it, no problem. Yeah. I don't I don't know, but it could be fun. I have a lot of sock yarn to get through, and I would love... So I have last year's Advent sock mm -hmm. that I haven't touched yet, so I thought that would be kind of a cute one, and then I'd have new socks Yeah. for that. So, But we should also talk about the fact that we're wearing not 2020 socks, 2019 socks. Yeah. We both have 2019 Advent socks on today. So. Yeah, we should try and put a... A photo in if we can. We'll Our little photo, photo, little video. Yeah. Insert here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're wearing, what we got. Um, did you want to talk about your other little thing before we move into what we're knitting on? Just since I've changed the Which script one? completely. That this one? one? Okay, I dropped some of this. I was just thinking, since we're, yeah. we spilled the beans that we now have advanced games. Yes. So I have a few bigger projects that I'm working on and all kinds of sock whips that I'd like to try and finish, which makes me want to cast something new on, of course. Of course. And I thought, why not do a hat? Because yep. it's not a huge project, it's not a big commitment. Mm -hmm. And I have this beautiful kit for a new pattern from Chelsea Lux Yarns for the Christina yep. hat, which is a really beautiful Mm -hmm. DK and mohair. Yeah, if you cover both of our faces in the picture, then it'll Here focus on. Oops. There we go. You're focused. Okay. Yeah, it's delightful. And it comes with these beautiful pearls. Let's see. We have to hide behind. There we go. <laughs> it's focused. Um, and I've never actually beaded or used pearls in knitting before, but I think there's a video to go along with it of exactly mm -hmm. how to do it. 
and it's so pretty. It's really, really nice. That color is amazing. Yeah. I love that. It is Robin's Egg, and this is the Luxe Decay, and then Robin's Egg in the Mohair. So that's going to be my little quick cast on. It might not be super quick with the beading, but I still I think... I feel like the pattern doesn't have like a ton of beading in it though. So it's probably going to be, it might slow you down a little bit, but yeah. I think it'll be okay. So that's my um, fun project that's coming up. Have you done mohair before? I mm -hmm. think you have, right? Mm -hmm. I've used it in a project. I wasn't a super fan of it. It's okay, but it just, again, I ended up like breathing it in, it feels like. So I have to be in the mood for it. Yeah, it can get a little itchy. Yeah. Like when it's you feel like it's in your face or in your lip gloss. but <laughs> Yes, my lip gloss is always <laughs> sticky. <laughs> but no, I, I actually love what you get when you combine it with another yarn. It kind of just, I've, in the one project I've done with it, it just kind of disappears into the project and you just get the halo left, yeah. which I kind of like. It's, it's magic. Pretty, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. I love that. So that's your hat project mm -hmm. that's coming up. Um, I do also, you have a hat project? Perhaps I do. <laughs> Let's segue into that, shall we? Contained here in my By the Lakeside camouflage bunny bag. Which is kind of working with everything you have going on here. Well, that's exactly the plan. Mm -hmm. So I posted earlier today on my Instagram sort of a teaser shot because I had my tote bag, the large size camo mm -hmm. tote bag, and this one. And I'm wearing it. Believe it or not, the shirt, I don't know how well on camera it shows up, but it's actually a camouflage texture pattern. Thanks, Lululemon. <laughs> not sponsored. Um, I did cast on a hat today because I don't need another hat. I have a billion and one hats, but I need mittens. And I didn't want to have mittens just on their own. I kind of wanted a match set. So after watching the um, Brooklyn Tweed um, holiday launch last week, which... The patterns are amazing. They're really, really good this season. Um, there's like two sweaters, a cowl, a shawl, and two hats, I believe. Like it's a pretty significant um, collection. Um, I won't show this because you're not going to see. It's a tiny little picture. It's not going to help any. We'll insert a picture here of the Fraser, 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 I never know how they want to pronounce it, hat. Um, it's in today, I'm doing it in Brooklyn Tweed Quarry. That color is amazing. Focus. It did focus. Anyway, you saw it. Um, this is in the, I want to call it citrine colorway. I should really know that ahead of time. Bad podcaster. We've been busy. We've been busy. <laughs> We've been very busy. We didn't make notes. No, not even slightly. We're winging it. We're just winging yeah. it. Um, so I just cast on for the rib for it. But it's <laughs> this really cool, it's cabled but doesn't look like cables. Um, hat pattern that... Um, the designer, who is Canadian, and we'll put all the information below, uh, is it's just a really, really, really nice hat, and I wanted a matched set. There's something banging. Is that okay? It's it's in the. Oh, the okay. Room. I was it's like windy out. Oh, it's windy. Okay, cool. Phew. I was <laughs> like, what's going on? There's ghosts in the shell. Um, I wanted hats and hat and mitts to match, so I'm gonna just move this to the side because I have a, a lot of this quarry color. And I cast on for the antler mitts. Oh, wait, it's in another <laughs> by the lakeside bag. Um, this was Christmas two years ago? I think so. Two years and this ago. This was like, this was even before that, I think, this one. Yeah. 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 I'll have a sneak peek later on for this year's Christmas bag, too. Oh, it's a good one. Um, so I cast on, and I'm actually using DPNs for these. I almost never knit with DPNs, but I felt like. You know, it's chunky yarn and it's cute. This is the start of the antler mittens, uh, which is a tin can knits pattern. Has, I think, four sizes from like baby through to adult. Um, unfortunately, I have to do the man hand size, so it's pretty big, but it's going quickly. I just started this, I think, a night ago. I didn't, I didn't touch it at all last night. Um, it's moving quickly, it's cables. Which I love. So now I will have a hat. I almost went in my tea. Hat and mitt to go in a matched set. Even though it's not the same pattern, it's the same yarn. So it works the same. So that's what I'm working on currently for accessories. Very nice. Thank you. Would you like to share something else that you're working on? I would love to. 
Hmm. Let's keep There's going so many. <laughs> the other project yeah. I've been working on lately is a sock that you were also working on. Mm -hmm. It is my Woolens and Nosh DK weight yarn in the color Hawaiian mm -hmm. shirt, which we both have. And yeah. I'm still on my first one, but I just put in the heel mm -hmm. and uh, I'm just working on the foot now, which is really nice. So I'm just kind of flying through it. It's really quick. I am using Kay's pattern, the Crazy Sock Lady. Uh, what is this one called? Do you remember? I think it's Simple DK Socks. DK Weight Vanilla Socks by Kay Litton. And it's a really nice basic sock pattern, which I thought would be good for the stripes. Yep. And I'm really enjoying this one. So I feel like this one's going to fly off now that I've turned the heel mm -hmm. and I'm just working on the foot. And I have another set of needles. I think I might actually... Actually, I can't. I was going to say I was going to oh, cast on the second one. Oh, you didn't split your skeins. You could. Yeah, you just should. have to find the center pole. Yeah. If you wanted to. Maybe I will do Maybe. that. We'll see. So that's just in one of my little bunny bags in the denim. And this one kind of stays with me right now because I can just mm -hmm. pick it up whenever I want to. I have to say I am a convert of the DK sock. It's nice. I'm really liking it. It went super fast. It's cozy. Um, and I'm used to, I used to do a 72 stitch fingering weight sock, which is a lot of stitching. Um, whereas 64 now is my go-to for fingering weight. On DK, it's even less. So So when you do a 64 stitch fingering weight sock, mm -hmm. what size needle do you use? Uh, I use usually a two and a half millimeter. Mm -hmm. So when I first started knitting socks, I was doing 2.75 millimeters mm -hmm. and 72 stitch socks, but I had really big feet. And believe it or not, when you lose a lot of weight, your feet actually get smaller mm -hmm. as well. And I also have found over time, I like a tighter gauge um, on it. So it just, it's a little bit, they just fit a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, but now I've gone down to two and a half mil with 64. I've been thinking about trying my 64 stitch sock on a mm -hmm. two and a half millimeter. And what do you normally do? 2.25. Oh, okay. So just giving a little bit more room? Just for it to have a bit more of a squish factor. I'm yeah. not sure if I'll get it with it. I might try one. We'll see. So Stephanie Pro McPhee always talks about the fact that if you, the tighter the gauge, the longer the socks will last. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just be thinking if it might be a little bit. Yeah, and Squishier, I really but a little looser, maybe. I hate loose socks though. Mm. So maybe I'll stick with. It. Okay, I, I would say stick. <laughs> stick with it. Stick with okay. it. Okay. Um, I have another project that I okay. brought. So I have two more. Okay. Well, I'll share one, and then you can go, and then okay. that'll be pretty much it for my projects. Okay. In my hide and hammer bag, which is a not a by the lake side bag for a change, but it's beautiful. but it's really nice. I love this mustard color. Um, I have the beginnings of pockets. The pockets is it has pockets. Is. Pockets. <laughs> what's the, in its pockets? What's, is? Is, what's in its pockets? Is <laughs> um, these are the pocket linings. They look really cute and dinky they on do. here, but they're really neat um, for the Longfellow cardigan, which is part of what I'm making for the Six Plus Twine Cables and Cardies Cal, which started on November first. Um, so these turned out just fine. Mm -hmm. The back panel, which I'm also working on, I have had to restart a couple of times. One, uh, it's not a big deal, and I thought it was gonna be a little too small, but I think it's actually a lot wider than I thought it was gonna be, so it's working. Um, this is Brooklyn Tweed Loft in the Amaranth colorway. This is Brooklyn Tweed Loft in Cinnabar. So this, uh, the pockets will be lined in the full red and the button band will also be done in the red. That said, um, I did the tubular because, you know, it's worth the time. Do the tubular. However, I did it completely in the wrong needle size. So I had to rip back. I got almost mm. to this point. I had to rip back the whole thing and redo it. This is now the, th that was the second time I'd had to frog projects with this yarn. So, 
read the instructions, <laughs> follow along, do it properly. Um, but I feel like I'm in a good point now because now it's just stocking at for like 17 and a half inches. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going to be, it's a lot of knitting, but there's a lot of TV to watch. So it's okay. I actually love that color. It's nice, right? I think I I'm not, I I'm it. not usually a red person. There we go. But I would love a sweater in that color. I feel like it's also a really good holiday color, obviously, yeah. because it's red. Um, they're like I might actually get this done before the holidays. That would be nice. I know. I'm kind of hoping that my sweater might be a holiday sweater too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you show us what that is? This is also a sweater for your knit along. I cast on I think on the first when it mm -hmm. started. It is the Chunky Dahlia, and of course, I don't have my pattern here to show you, but maybe we can put the details on the screen because yep. I don't remember them all. Sure. And I've just cast on and started the neck. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if you'd call it, I guess it's a neck band because I think I'm knitting it and then folding it over and joining it and then continuing the top down. Okay, now that makes more sense to right? me why it was a provisional. a provisional cast on. So I too had to rip this out and redo it, I think twice. Yeah. Because the first time I did it, I've never done a provisional cast on before and I didn't really read ahead in the pattern, which you should always do. Always read the pattern. Always. Um, and I went ahead and did it with a crochet hook or an extra mm. needle, like most of the videos explained how to do it. Then I got a little bit further in the pattern and realized you're supposed to put it on a spare needle mm -hmm. or cast on with the spare needle and then you um, you knit and then eventually I'll, I will turn it and join it there. Right. And then when I joined it the first time in the round, I twisted it. Oh no. So that was my second right. kind of start again. So do you, when you join it, I imagine it's like maybe like a three needle bind off kind of thing. I think like it, you knit them two together and as you're going into the next I think something so. like that. I haven't really haven't. gotten that far. <laughs> I like I'm like I glanced ahead, but I don't yeah. I just kind of try to focus on right. what I'm doing. And this yarn I'm really enjoying. It is the I don't know how to say this. Sadness garn. Sure. Right? Yep. Sand, sandus? Sandness. I don't know. And the base is Kos or Kos. Color yep. to... Did it? Did, did I do it right? Did it? You just have to cover both our faces. There we go. Okay. There you go. It's really... I don't know. It's kind of like... um. What do you call it when it's like a tube? Like a... Like a chain? Chainette. Chainette. Yeah. Do you know what it reminds me of? Um, Wolfolk Luft. A little bit. And um, I can't remember the name of this color, but I think it Ooh, has a really number. Soft. So it's 2543, I think. Yeah, that's really soft. That's nice. It's a Norwegian company. And I had to search mm -hmm. for this online to find mm -hmm. this particular base, which was what they used in the pattern. And I just fell right. in love with it. And I decided to just pair it with the Rowan Kid Silk Haze, which I got at the Knitting Loft. And I can't remember the color. And of course, I can't really see it, but it's in a really nice it's neutral. It's that color. It's this color. It's that color. <laughs> and together, it's looking very pretty. One to Let's twin powers I activate. Kind of do that. No. It's trying to focus on your arm. There something. we go. Okay. So yeah, I haven't like started it. much, but I think this once I get it going, I've been really, really busy with sewing. Yeah. And it's also, it, this is really like chunky, so it's going to go fast. It should, right? Yeah. Once I get that neckline, I think, turned and kind of started, I think yeah. the yoke will be really fun because that is a really beautiful design on the yoke. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. And it's it's a very good color for you too, I think. Thank you. I don't think I've knit with this color before. Does so. that Progress Keeper have licorice all sorts it in sure it? It sure does. Isn't that cute? Oh my God, I love that. Yeah. I don't that know if I can really... get it. Do you want to see if it'll focus on it? I don't... It might. You'd have to go real. There. Oh, almost pull back just a little bit. There we go. Almost. Anyway, it's licorice okay. all sorts. That's amazing. And I don't remember where I got this one. 
It's really cute. If anybody knows, let me know because I think I need to have one. It's really Those are cute. amazing. I feel like it was a gift. Oh, okay. And that's why I don't know because yeah. I don't remember finding That's really that. cute. A little yeah. segue there. A little that's accessory of, talk. That's in one of my large project bags from the archives that I pulled out of my closet. Because it goes with the project. Yeah. Of course. It's lovely. Thank you. We like and that. And my last whip. Do you have any more? No, that's it for what I have today with me. My last whip, I won't talk about too much because I have before, but I'm working on my second, second Avenue wrap. Mm -hmm. So I've made this before, but I saw a kit and I loved it so much that These colors are amazing. I wanted to knit another one. So this is the beginnings of it. I, I am it. using Plucky Yarns, the Plucky Knitter, um, the Primo Fingering in this beautiful combination. Let's see if I can to need an extra hand. give you one. Yeah. That's your color too. This is uh, Ogre. Shrek. Oh, it's yeah, Ogre. Ogre. Yeah. That's Golden Delicious. This is Peony. And I can't remember these two, but... You know, that peony color on camera does not do it justice. Mm. It is beautiful in person. It's way more vivid than I thought, actually. Yeah, it's and it has really this, a bit of this green in there, yeah. too. Yeah. So Great I'm enjoying this. It's, um, it's really simple knitting, but the colors and changing up. Yeah. The pattern here and there is really interesting to me. So yeah. I've been very into projects like that lately where the actual knitting doesn't require much I can just kind of sit and enjoy yeah I think for me like this is one of these projects where it is more than the sum of its parts yeah right it really does come together into something really kind of special well this is the primo fingering too which is super nice I can't yeah. remember the content but it has a little bit of cashmere in it mm -hmm. um, and it knits up really soft and beautifully it's I really have to find mine like my Second Avenue wrap, it, I know it's somewhere. Yeah. I just have to dig it out of storage somewhere. Yeah, we both have one. Yeah. So many things. So many things. Yes. But I love this color. This ogre color is just. I would You've love used this sweater. It. Have, what did you use? I used it, it in? in my Vertices Unite. Oh right. So that was all in the same. It was all in plucky. Oh, which I love. I do love too. Plucky. It's it's a nice treat. It is. And this kit was available, still available, I think, at the Knitting Loft in Toronto. So, One of our favorite places. That's right. And well, that's in another one of my project bags. I do like that one, too. Thank you. So we are going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back and maybe talk a bit more about knitting plans and holiday plans and dream knitting and some of that stuff. Yep. Okay, see you in a minute. See you later. Guess what? Uh, I'm going to start doing a little bit of uh, what I would like to call disorganized knitting as a segment. Um, I get a lot of comments from people that are saying, you know, um, we love what you do because you're so organized and you make things so motivational for me to get organized. but. Uh, I would be lying if I didn't say that there are times when I am extremely disorganized. I make big mistakes too. Um, so I thought I would start sharing some of those too, just because they're kind of funny in a way. Anyway, um, so I started my Longfellow cardigan, which is in my porter bin, which you would have seen in the last episode. Uh, I set it all up and I cast on. I did the tubular, you know I say do the tubular, I did the tubular, 
And I did the tubular. This is the back panel. Um, here's the thing. I did the entire thing on the wrong needle sizes. So, uh, I need to redo it. This is now the... I think this is going to be the third time I will have uh, frogged a piece of knitting in this yarn. I think I might need to sage this yarn. I don't have sage. I have Palo Santo. Will that work? I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, um, yeah, disorganized knitting. Phase one. Rip it out and redo it. Here we go. Again.